Hello, my friends. Today is a very, very, very special day. And this video is the most, I feel most honored and blessed and privileged to be able to share this information directly with all of you in the world. This is such a monumental scale. I thought it would be best if I personally share it with all of you. <laughs> it's really emotional for me right now. And I'm and as I go, you'll understand why. And uh, I want to ask you please to uh, save and download my videos because I don't have the ability to do that or know how. So I'm a real amateur here. And so I'm an amateur archaeologist. And I am showing you the first evidence being released to the world of an ancient star fort city. And this here is part of the original moat and what I'm gonna I want I'm gonna zoom in on this area and this is the first spot that I found that I realized was Starfort okay you can see that okay now I'm gonna touch on it to see if it will pin the okay see it says 60.71 115.6 it's actually not in Fort Smith, but that's okay if Fort Smith gets gets a plug for it. <laughs> the town where I live is actually here, River, which I'll show you at the end. Okay, so the next location here, this Oxbow is where the Northern Farm Training Institute is, where I work as a, a, an educator and teacher of regenerative agriculture and various other sustainable activities we do. And because of it, I've been studying the maps a lot. So here you're looking at a monolithic line. It's, I've estimated this is 165 feet wide. This is over a kilometer what is showing, but I believe it extends under the ground. And, and then here's the second one, same thing. And it actually, there's evidence, there's a gravel. Uh, I believe this monolith touched the river. Here I'm going to zoom in. Okay. I'm going to zoom in. You can see this is actually the stone exposed. There's a square here, square here, and then it looks like to me it was like some kind of tower that fell. It fell and tumbled, and on the shore, I've personally seen it and touched it, there's a pile of giant, huge stones, and one of them is rectangular. And I have studied and looked at it when I've been out uh, shepherding with the animals and I've marveled and wondered and couldn't ma it didn't make sense to me how a type of st a stone of that shape could possibly be here and now I realize it's because it's part of this that fell into a long 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 time ago okay now I'm gonna keep going now this here oops I want to okay that's pinned okay this here I'm showing you is a circle and I believe is the heart of the original city, and it was subject to some kind of melt event, and that's part of the legends of the Dene people, that the earth uh, heat come up from the bottom, and even though it's melted, there's an area I'm going to show you right here that there's uh, stuff has survived also here, okay, is st stuff. So I'm going to now the Google Maps doesn't go close enough and isn't clear enough to see the detail. So everyone out there in the Star Fort community use this website, Atlas Government of Northwest Territories. OK, you see the maps. OK, that's the OK. It's it, it gives much greater detail. It doesn't show the same picnic pigmentation so now what I'm going to show you is the mother load okay what you're going to look at here is you're going to look at this arc this line right here okay I believe this is part of the uh, part of the wall but what I'm going to show you is the moat we can still see the carving I'm going to zoom in now you're going to really love this you see it okay you see it see it's fluted maybe I can zoom in one more time where did it go where did it go there it is 
this. All right, there we go. Let's let me get it. All right, so there it is. Flute. Do you see there? Now look at it goes. Look at the symmetrical. Okay, it's fluted almost like a star for it point. Okay, and then it goes and then it turns. Okay, and it keeps going. Now if you follow this line all the way, okay, it keeps going, 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 going. It arcs all the way back to that melted circle city that I showed you. Okay? But there's another. I'm just going to show you. You look at look at here. Where where is the Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Right here. Okay? Again, you see, look the shape. Okay? Okay, now this line goes all the way back to the melted city, the melted circle city. And uh, so now I'm going to go back because I want to show you a little bit more. And like I said, I'm going to need you guys to help me do a way, way, way better video scrutinization of the entire Northwest Territories. Because if this is here... It could be many other places. And I want to tell you, the Dene people have the most beautiful principles, you see, of how to live in respect and harmony with the natural world, that the earth is sacred. This is a line, okay? I believe this area is foundation area. I believe this, I believe this is, sorry, I'm not recording. I'm so sorry, this line I think this is a ruins, and this one I'm going to show you. Okay, this square here on Google Maps is way clearer, okay? And this is a rectangle, and this is a square, and this has pink pigmentation. It's uh, very much clearer on Google Maps. And here's a close-up of the, you see, the right there. Everyone who's in the Star Fork community, I think you're going to recognize that. Okay, so this type of stuff is everywhere in the landscape around me so again i'm going to share this with you in the star fort community please save download my videos and get this out to the world because the message that i have for the world is connected to this city and we need this right now and it's us the little people and this you are the first ones to receive this information from me Please share it so we can get the narrative out. I'm going to turn my phone around. Thank you so much for helping me. It's the beginning of a beautiful new story. And I look forward to meeting all of you. Thank you.